Okay, so in the outside here, <laughs> in the outside world, Sarah Connor asks the T-101, what happened? So here's the lore. I need to know how Skynet gets built. The main most directly responsible is Miles Bennett Dyson. He's the director of special projects at Cyberdyne Systems Corporation. In a few months, he creates a revolutionary type of microprocessor. In three years, Cyberdyne will become the largest supplier of military computer systems. Go on, then what? So you know what's More interesting about bombers. this? In, in the modern world, we're sort of finding out that not the hardware isn't the critical point, it's the software. Are we wrong about that? Maybe that maybe the big innovation of AI that's going to kill us all will be when somebody makes a hardware chip, hardware innovation that's takes off some way. I can imagine that, mm. like a, like a chip that could somehow compress the density of processors, and so yeah. or, or like trans transistors, and so then you can create this neural network that requires whatever many billions of of decisions. Mm -hmm. Possible. Right, because it's very hardware focused here. They didn't say like he's a software or a mathematics guy. He's mm -hmm. definitely hardware focused. I mean, gosh, I can imagine it on both. I can imagine AI intelligence taking off on both ways, both mm -hmm. one from like a a compute. I mean, it's overall computation, whether it's hardware or software. I can imagine people either writing code or designing chips that just allows fast stuff to happen. Yeah, fast stuff, connected stuff. Yeah like integrated stuff mm. information processing yeah i don't mm. then what all stealth bombers are upgraded with cyberdyne computers becoming fully unmanned afterwards they fly with a perfect operational record the skynet funding bill is passed human decisions are removed from strategic defense skynet begins to learn at a geometric rate it becomes self-aware at 2 14 a.m in a panic they try to pull the plug that blows me away that so Giving autonomy to some stealth fighters, fine. But to give autonomy to the entire strategy of your nation, that's like tactics of, of stealth bombers, like tiny. Mm -hmm. The strategy of your institutions is enormous. I, that's such a quick pivot to strategic, giving strategic decisions to autonomous things. Wow. Mm -hmm. Gosh, okay, okay. Can I think of a way in which it might have happened? So mm -hmm. you make you give an individual stealth bomber autonomy. You'd be like, mm -hmm. so that way you don't have a pilot in there that can risk yep. getting down, getting killed. So you you just, I mean, you use a drone, which is what we already do, right? Right. And so and so then from there you think, well, gosh, it's logistically challenging to get this thing around because it needs a whole mm -hmm. logistics tail behind it. So you yep. say, okay, well, I'm going to write another another program that says, mm -hmm. here's all my assets, here are all the locations. You figure out the most efficient way to get it done. Okay, okay. I like, it. <laughs> I like where you're going. Right? I like where you're going. And you say, okay, well, once you have all the logistics stuff handled, then also you you just you just handle everything because I got people mm -hmm. working on it, but they get stuff wrong. All right, so let's just let's just automate away as much as we can. Mm -hmm. And then the last step would be once you once you get into logistics, once you've given it all the assets that actually fire bullets and missiles and stuff, drop bombs. At the last point, you're like, well, you might as well make decisions about where to bomb because you know about the logistics. That's right. Because right. because humans, we see like the big cities, we see the factories, but maybe those aren't the best places to bomb. Maybe, okay, hey, AI, your, jo your job is to defend our, our country. You figure out what you need to do. Right. I can see it. Very fast, but I could see it. The slippery slope to... But dangerous. Dangerous, yeah. Skynet fights back. It launches its missiles against the targets in Russia because Skynet knows that the Russian counterattack will eliminate its enemies over here. How much do you know about Dyson? Detailed files. Gosh, even that, that part about Russia makes sense because mm -hmm. Russia, which is just known for having like, like um, data attacks, well, you would tell Skynet, like, hey, make sure you don't get shut down. Mm -hmm. Don't let somebody else on the outside shut you down. And now it's self-preserving. Yeah. I guess, how did it guarantee that the nukes from Russia wouldn't take kill its own hardware? I guess the hardware must be in bunkers. What am I saying? Like it would have to yeah. be in mountain bunkers because it's in charge maybe it's of in strategic Cheyenne mountain. defense. Yeah, maybe. Or that mountain base that we don't know about that exists. <laughs> yeah. Under the sea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Under the I mean, sea, actually, wow. under the sea, an under the sea defense would be pretty good, right? Because it's just all this water to absorb any attacks. Well, then you would nuke. I guess you, if if you were in the water, then you just nuke inside the water, and then the shock waves are gonna wreck you. Oh, okay, yeah. The 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 compression blast from the from the expansion, you just yeah. shock wave through the water. Yeah, it would rattle everyone. Yeah. Whew. Yeah. Maybe it's a black mesa. <laughs> 